Good evening, listeners, and welcome from the CRMOT Centre Community Stadium at the Lamb for this evening's Southern League Premier Central Clash between Tamworth and St Ives Town. And this broadcast is brought to you, as ever, by Lambs Media, who are in proud association with Tamworth FC Team Builder this evening. There's the referees, Mr Richard Watson's whistle to get us underway. Baker, corner to Tamworth. Yeah, it all came, from, near side. all came from that free kick, Kev, that Jazz Singh took. It was launched right to the edge of the St Ives box as his Ben Mills corner comes over towards the back post, headed in to the back of the net by Dan Creaney. Is it Creaney? I'm trying to see if it is. It was Matt Curley at the back post this time, Kev, who got the first selling touch. Chipped beautifully wide by Liam Dolman then. Into Curley. Two, three passes later. Tamworth worked the space. Low cross. And over the bar out for a corner. Off then from Finn. Whips it in very centrally. Keeper punches it. Pulls back just wide on the volley. The physical. Forward by Jazz Singh then. Can Tamworth prize open that St Ives door and get a second? No is the answer because there is referee Richard Watson's half time. That's a, a knock forward towards Creaney from Fairlam and suddenly Finn's on the end of it. And an intervention by Richards sees it out for a throw into Tamworth in front of the clubhouse. Taken quickly into the area. Kyle Finn prods it past down. It's into the corner and in there. What a ridiculous goal to concede for St. Ives Town. Completely caught cold. But how alert was Kyle Finch, to? Absolutely. And I'm not sure who was the one who took the quick throw and was as well. But and clear this ball. So Richards in possession then. In it goes. That's a good looking ball. And it is a St. Ives goal. And I think it's ball there by Matt Curley. A very unorthodox throw actually forward to Dolman suddenly McKeon on the edge of the area this wriggle one way then the other is still got the ball of feet it's still not clear by St Ives and eventually it bobbles on out for a corner completely I agree forward by Curley this time it's low down the channel for McKeon. McKeon inside then to Milnes thought about the shot onto his left foot shoes just over the bar feel hasn't it, it forward long us. direct by Jazz that's allowed to bounce straight through the middle Dan Green he goes a tumble on the edge of the area okay but this is a very enticing free kick for Tamworth now and Ben Milnes is the man looking likely along with Kyle Finn yeah, it's just going to be Milnes this. isn't it Milnes it is, curls it, just over, foot over the bar, not too far away, no. it was a decent effort, Stu. it's not been vintage by Tamworth, there's no way you can say it has been, but it's been enough, and with a bit more justice, we probably would have had a two goal cushion, forward by Jazz, there's the final whistle, it's three points for Tamworth, 